what's going on guys so I got a Sega Saturn here and in this video I'm basically gonna be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in a Sega Saturn so I got my console all plugged up got the controller plugged in and everything and so let's go ahead and get started so first of all I'll just go ahead and turn on the console okay so it wants me to select language first let me go ahead and do that English yeah, let's just go ahead and say it's 1994. So it is actually December 1st, 1994, in case you didn't know. Pretty nice startup screen. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So let's see. Let's start with the Sega Saturn game, just show you what, you know, should happen. Show you what normally happens. So you plug it in, and it's checking disk format. And it's taking a while actually. All right, now I press this start application. And now obviously it should load and boot up and work fine. So there it is. Now let's see if it'll finish, come on. This is the game that's supposed to completely work, come on. There it is, so there is the game. We can go ahead and reset. We don't need to see that work anymore. So that was Daytona USA. I don't think I said the name at first, so let's put that down. And let's go ahead and let's start with these Xbox games right here. So first we got Simpsons Road Rage for the original Xbox. Let's go ahead and try this out. If I can get it out of the case. All right. Put it in and it should start loading. Drive empty. Well, that was quick. Like, didn't even attempt to recognize it. All right. Well, I guess the Xbox game is not going to work. Let's try what we got next. Batman Arkham Asylum for the 360 Game of the Year Edition. All right. So we plug it up. Check disk format. And drive empty again. All right. Well, this, this is interesting. It's just like not even, it's not even attempting. I, I don't know, I would have expected a little bit more. So now 2K14 for the Xbox One. Now since this is a Blu-ray drive, it might not even, I don't know, it might not even try to check like it's, I, I don't even know. Like the other ones, it hasn't really tried to check too much, but man, it's quick. This thing had some advanced skills already. Already knew which games it was going to accept and which it wasn't. So let's see. Um, we'll leave these for later. Let's go ahead into the PlayStation games. See if I can pick them up. <laughs> Alright, so first off, we got PS1 Crash Bash, like usual. And I don't know, let's see. This is around the time the PS1 was out, so maybe it'll. Disc unsuitable for this system. Alright, but. Does it pl can it play sound or something? Let's try it. So that's interesting. It actually has it shows tracks and I guess maybe there's 16 minutes of music or audio on that disc and it's trying to give me the option to play but it won't actually let me play. It's kind of weird. So it actually I think it is actually recognizing that there's audio on the CD but it just won't let me play it, which kind of sucks, but I guess that's how it's gonna be. All right, so PS1 game got a little bit further. Um, recognized some audio, so you know there is some, there is a little bit of compatibility. You know, it's it knows what it's looking at. So now we got the PS2 game. Hoping we can get a little bit further. So it's okay. It's actually trying to read. Checking disc format still. All right, come on. Zero tracks, zero time. So it just kind of stopped, and that was weird. I don't even know what this means, but let's go back. Can I go? How do I go back? All right, <laughs> that was weird. So that was weird. It never even. It just kind of kind of tried to read it for a while, and then it it didn't read it correctly, and <laughs> I don't know. 
that one was that was a mystery kind of came up with zero tracks zero time and yeah I, I don't know that was weird so next up ps3 call of duty ghosts you know what it is rated m don't play this unless you're 17 years old all right checking disc format drive empty okay this is getting a little ridiculous no wonder Sega went out of business or I don't even know if they're out of business they just no wonder they stopped making consoles I mean whose console can't support Call of Duty Ghosts that's just sad so maybe this PS4 Uncharted game like if you can't play Uncharted on the system why would you even want the system okay if, maybe I can get the come on get out alright now that it took me 20 seconds to get that dang disc out of the case Let's see if it'll work. Drive in. That's just sad. I mean, why? What is the point of even having a Sega Saturn if you can't play Uncharted on it? And Uncharted is one of the best games in video game history, and you can't even play it on Sega Saturn. So what's the what's the point? I I don't know. No words. I'm a loss at a loss of words. So let's try. Let's move over to the Nintendo games. So first up, we got a GameCube game, Sonic Riders. So Sonic is Sega, and this is a Sega Saturn, so, you know, I don't know, maybe we can make some magic happen. Got a small disc. Let's try it out. So it's still checking disc format. It's trying. Alright, so this is similar to what it did to the PS2, where it just kind of sits here and says checking disc format and track zero, time zero, and then it just disappears. It never even gives me a conclusive answer. Like usually it says that there's no disc or something, but that's just annoying. I mean, I don't. I just want to answer. Come on. I don't know. That was one of my last hopes. I thought, you know, Sonic is Sega. It's the Sega Saturn. You know, there should have been some kind of compatibility, but I guess not. That's unfortunate. All right. So next up, we got Wii. Wii. Man, it's been like. I can't believe it's been more than a decade since the Wii came out. That's crazy. All right, so Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, that's a cool disc. Look at that Mario head. <laughs> All right, so let's try this out. Sega probably doesn't like Mario, so I'm not expecting too much. It's trying, though. It's about to do the same thing again. It's going to check the disc format. It's just going to disappear. Yep. That's just annoying. Come on, Sega. You gotta do better than that. Man, it's no surprise this console went bad. Alright, so Wii U, Nintendo Land. Another basically another Wii game. I'm not considering what just happened with the Wii game, not expecting too much with this. But uh maybe we can get it out of the case, please. Uh, some of these cases are made really easily to get the games out. Some of them pretty difficult. Especially when you're trying to hold a camera with one hand and pull it out with the other hand. Okay, drive empty. At least it gives me a conclusive answer. So we got a couple more, a couple more disc-based games that will be interesting to look at, actually. So we got Sega Dreamcast, Hidden and Dangerous. So Sega Dreamcast came after the Sega Saturn. So uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit of Forge compatibility. But, I mean, it's the same lineup. That'll be interesting. Two tracks. Let's try to play it. All right. So there's the the classic Sega Dreamcast soundtrack. Let me let me turn it up in case you guys gonna hear that. And I'll play it again. So I'll skip backwards. Yeah, so it goes, warning, this disc is only for use on Sega Dreamcast. So, we finally got something to work. Finally at least played the track. That's nice. Nice to know. Sega is kind of com slightly compatible with Sega. You know, that's cool. Um, let's try DVD, Star Wars. All right. Okay. Trying to watch some movies on this thing. Checking disc format. Drive in. Oh, come on, man. 
just trying to watch some Star Wars. This is just annoying. Alright, so, as usual, got a couple surprises we're going to try. Let me grab them real quick. And here they are. So first, we got Barkley Shut Up and Jam. And, you know, I've been looking at this thing. You know, we got a cartridge slot back here, so... I I'm thinking good things about this right now. And... It doesn't even fit. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Honestly, the cartridge slot looked perfect for this. But the cartridge is, like, slightly too big. Man. Well, that sucks. I thought we were finally going to be able to play cartridge on a disc-based system. All right, so a couple more. We got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Pretty awesome game. I definitely recommend picking up a Nintendo Switch and playing this game. So let's try the cartridge slot again. Um, I'm it's gonna get lost down there. So maybe the maybe in here. Checking this format. Drive empty. Ah, come on. There we go again. One there, here's one more. Uh, this one's actually disc based actually. UMD. It's a PSP game. Guys, weird look looking disc things. Uh, let's try it out. Checking disc format and drive empty. Well, isn't that unfortunate? All right. So last but not least, I got a twenty dollar bill, and you know, we're gonna try it out. See if this thing can accept some. 20 so I can buy some DLC so shut it in there checking the format come on I mean, all I want to do is just put this in here and it can like suck it up send it back to its corporate headquarters and then load it onto you know whatever Sega Sega Saturn's like store is I don't even know that would have been cool but it ain't happening alright guys so thanks for watching this video if you liked it make sure to leave a thumbs up below and subscribe and let me know what other consoles you want me to try or what other types of videos I should try and thanks for watching.